Hey guys, so today I am so excited because I'm doing a makeup haul and I feel like I haven't done a makeup haul in a long time. So, I'm going to say really quick, I ordered stuff from Essence. I was like, shit, my address. Okay, anyway, it's like not sponsored at all. I just like genuinely ordered stuff from them and I was going to put it in this video because it's makeup, but it's only a couple products, but I have so much stuff to show. Not so much, but like with how much I talk, it's a lot of stuff. It'll be a long video. So that... Because I still want to show you guys this stuff. I just will not have enough time to do it in this video. So, I'm going to start off with the three most exciting things. And I really do apologize because my freaking neighbor is, like, extending their driveway. I don't even know how to explain it. But, like, they're, like, pouring down cement. And they're, like, duh, 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 you know. So, like, sorry if it's really loud out there. But, like, I literally can't do anything about it. So, oh, my God. This is so annoying. So the first thing came in the mail probably four days ago, and I am so excited because if you guys know, if you're like, wait, you've hauled a Sweet Peach palette before, I thought you already had that. Well, it like grew legs and walked away. Like it just magically disappeared, like I don't know. You know, I don't know, not to be shady, but anyway, it just like magically disappeared. So, I was really pissed, I seriously looked for it for so long, like I made sure when I went to my friend's houses. Not to bring it with me, so I didn't leave it there. So, it's always been at my house, and then one day, just wasn't. But anyway, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm so excited because I actually really, really like this palette. So, I seriously, like, that's saying something. If I repurchased it again, like, that means I like it because... I don't think I've ever, like, repurchased, like, a big palette like this. No, I haven't. I've never, like, used up a naked palette and bought a new naked palette or anything like that. You know what I mean? So, I did like it enough to literally buy it again. So, I love this. Oh, it smells like straight peaches, and the colors are so beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm so happy I have this again because, seriously, I was so sad that I lost this thing. Because, like, guys, I really used this. Like, I bought it, and I used it every single day that I had it. But then, like... A week later, it was just gone. I was so mad because I used it every day. I loved it. Okay, so that's that. Then, oh, guys, oh my god. Okay, I want more light in my room. Okay, sorry if the lighting is really blue right now, but like, girl, it's like 8 o'clock at night right now. Yeah, it is literally 8 o'clock at night. Follow me on Poshmark, by the way, at Hopeful Guru. I link it in every single description box. Just saying, if you do look at those, they're in every single one. But anyway, I seriously put up, like, half of my closet on my Poshmark. Like, girl. Anyway. Guys, I cried. Oh, my God. I was so excited. This was, I was, like, freaking, girl. <sighs> it was late night, you know. Just when you're just on your phone late at night and you're just, like, shopping. And you're, like, I'm not actually going to buy anything. I'm just looking. Well, this was, like, not out of stock. So, I was, like this is a sign I have to get it because I have never gone to my Ulta and them had this ever I have never gone there and this not been out of stock ever 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 so I was like alright dude I'm gonna buy this cuz this is so like I am so late on this bandwagon like everyone has this and I don't so it was like I wanna try this so bad and I love it it's like velvet and it's just so like I meant suede I'm annoying anyway so this is it. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm sure you've seen it 500,000 times. But this is what it looks like. Oh my god, I'm literally in love. I love it. This color is my favorite. Um, Vermeer, I guess. And it's getting like a little bit washed up, but that's it. It's so pretty. Anyway, and this brush, not to be a shady hoe, but I actually don't like this brush. I just like using my own brushes because it's really... It's really not that soft, to be honest. But anyway, I don't give a shit. I love this. I love this. Seriously, it's so pretty. And I really like it because it's neutral, but it's so different from anything I have. Like, that's why I really wanted it because I do not own any eyeshadow palette that looks like this. Like, I guess the Naked 3 is kind of a pinky blush toned thing, but nothing like this. You know what I mean? It's like, this is so pretty. I love it. I'm so happy I own this finally because... I just dropped it. I hate myself. Anyway, I've been wanting it for so long, and I just look at it every time I go to Old Town. I'm just like, why do you guys never have this? Like, it makes me so mad. And it wasn't out of stock, so I was like, guys, I have to buy this. Like, it's time. Then, guys, okay, so the other day, I went to Ulta anyway, but like, guys, guys.
first off, did anyone know that, like, the freaking... Okay, this is the box. Hold on. Like, the actual... This is the Too Faced Natural Love, by the way, if you're like, what is this bitch talking about? And it comes with one of these little... You know, these things that we obviously all pull out every time we go to do our makeup because none of us know how to do our makeup. So everyone uses these cards, right? Oh my god, this is so cute. Wait, I'm such a shady bitch. Oh my god. Look. It has naturalized timeline and it has like 2009 the Too Faced Natural Eye 2011 Too Faced Natural at Night 2013 the Naturalized Palette 2015 the Natural Matte like the little like nine pan things it's a little timeline okay that's actually really cute anyway this is the Too Faced Natural Love and I had no idea this part is seriously like it's pretty much the same material as this like it's like a velvety suede feeling thing and yeah it's only the letter so it's not like a lot but seriously this is so cool but anyway look how beautiful this palette is it is so gorgeous like it's just so beautiful the packaging is everything and look at this this is my ghetto tripod huh huh but anyway like the flowers and just look at all these colors oh my god oh my god guys look at it Look at it, and the lighting isn't the greatest right now, but like, you can look it up on like Ulta Sephora, you know? It's like $59, and you seriously get 30 eyeshadows. 30 eyeshadows for $49, or 50, fuck, I actually don't remember how much this was. Oh my god, I'm a terrible beauty guru. Anyway, it's online somewhere. So anyway, this is so pretty. And some of the names are so cute. Like, Hot and Bothered, Makeup and Chill, Cutie Patootie. That one's my favorite. Um, bunny Nose, Don't Settle, Fingers Crossed, Smoking, Stiletto, Love Bug. Like, oh my god. Okay, anyway. So pretty. I love this. 10 out of 10 recommend. Obviously, I have not used every shade in this at all, so I can't speak for, like, all of them. But the couple that I've used, I really liked. But I did recently get a couple palettes, so I haven't gotten to play around with this as much as I would like to. But I have used it, like, twice, and I really, really did like it. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. 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 Now we're going to get into this stuff. I'm going to go through it semi-fast. So first... Um, I really wanted to try both of these, and I have been out of makeup setting spray, guys, for, like, three weeks. Like, completely out of setting spray. So, I was like, girl, it's time. So, I picked up this. This is my setting spray that I, like, use. Like, when I'm out of setting spray, this is what I mean. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray, whatever. This is the best drugstore setting spray there is, I swear. It's so good. I love the mist. I mean, used it yet. I love the mist. I love the mist. I totally just missed my face. Anyway, and this one has like three and a half ounces in it. Most of them have like 1.52, maybe 2.5, but this one has so much more than any other setting sprays like from the drugstore. And it's literally my favorite. It's so good. 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a drugstore setting spray and you haven't tried this one yet. Seriously, try it. Then I got both of these, and I don't have, like, an opinion yet on which one I like better because I have honestly just been trying to use up my L'Oreal one because I had this tiny bit left, and I, like, I lightweight, like, didn't want to use it up, so I just, like, wasn't setting my makeup every day, to be honest. So I'm, like, using that one up now, actually, and I've only used both of these one time, so I don't have, like, an opinion, but I wanted to try out both. They're the NYX setting spray, so this is the matte finish, and this is the dewy finish, and I do have oily skin, but, like, guys, let's be honest, I love glow and, like, highlighter, so I decided to try this. I'm excited to see which one I like better. Um, I got a little Batiste dry shampoo because I wanted to get one of these to put in my purse because, first off, it's so cute. And secondly, I literally love the Batiste dry shampoo, so I was like, why don't I get a little one to put in my purse? That's so smart. Okay, then... Oh, I got the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, and I'm so excited. It's like a highlighter. It's so cute. Um, and I really, really like the smell of these. Like, anyway. So it comes with this little brush, if you would like. And it's so pretty. I'm really upset that the lighting isn't, like, very good right now. But, like, can you see just how beautiful and perfect it looks? Oh, my God. And it smells so good. And it's just so 
soft. Like, it's so soft. Okay. I swear it's pigmented. Like, guys, it's pigmented. I'm just, like, pale AF, so it, like, lightweight blends it with me. See it right there? Okay. It's pigmented. It's pretty. I like it. I like it, I like it. I've only used it one time, though, like, actually on my face, so I can't, like, give an opinion. If you guys want a review on any of the stuff I'm showing, please tell me, because I literally never do reviews, but, like, I don't have time to talk about all this stuff right now. So, if you want, like, an actual review on anything, please tell me. So, then, we have, oh, this I got kind of a while ago, but I wanted to tell you guys, because I never told you about it. So, you guys know how I was, like, obsessed with my Lorac highlighter in daylight, like obsessed I got starlight and I freaking love it it's so pretty it's basically like the this one's like the golden peach one and then this one's like the pale girl one to be honest like it's you know like that champagne you know like golden like but not I don't oh my god anyway this is this one and I really like this one so much it's what I'm wearing today and I love it love it love it love it love it I think it is fairly blinding so big fan big fan Laura highlighters are literally like some of my favorite highlighters ever and no one talks about Laura highlighters it's all like Becca Anastasia glow kits like girl the Laura highlighters are so freaking good and they are like $20 like I'm serious Laura highlighters if you haven't tried one like I'm serious go try one because they're freaking awesome then guys finally pfft, seven months later I finally got the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. This is like the third shade. Anyway, the second shade was way too light. The fourth shade was way too dark. This one was like debatable, but like the other ones were just like, no, honey. But oh, look at this thing compared to my face. Like, look at it compared to my lips, okay? Giant. But seriously, guys, this is for real, like... I didn't mean to get that much product. Seriously, like, heavy duty, like, oh my golly. Can you just tell from that? Like, my veins are gone. Where did they go? I literally don't know. They're gone. Gone. I have no veins. Like, this is such a full coverage concealer. It's crazy. And I actually very rarely use concealer I just use it under my eyes you know what I mean like I don't spot conceal but seriously that is such a good concealer like it's like <sighs> and it's honestly so good that I literally like haven't been using it every day to be honest because it's so full coverage I don't like to me it's not like a daily it's like a oh my god girl I slept for four hours like I need some I don't know guys I really do like it it's really full coverage but it's seriously really full coverage like oh my god anyway okay then we have this nyx no filter powder and porcelain just because i don't know i just wanted to try a new powder to be honest and i'm not like a person that's really picky with powders and nyx was buy one get one half off and i had three products so i needed a fourth so i just like picked this one um then i am so excited about this this is the nyx illuminator in ritualistic and first off, I really, really like these. Like, the packaging is just so nice. I really am a big fan. So nice. Guys, this is so good. This is seriously so good. Like, look at it. Not impressive, right? So pretty on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so soft, and it is literally... That was one swipe. I literally... I barely even touched it. I'm not even kidding you. Like, that was not trying at all. I thought I was for sure going to have to go in a second time. For you guys to see it this is such a good highlighter and i'm so picky with highlighters girl like this dandelion twinkle lightweight it's not intense enough for me i would never use this like every single day like i would use this if i'm doing someone's makeup you know what i mean and and they don't want to look like wet so but anyway this is seriously so good and guys i got my nails done oh my god ah! okay anyway this is so good i've never heard anyone talk about nyx highlighters i don't know if these NYX Illuminators are, like, known on YouTube, and I just, no one I watch uses them, but they're seriously, like, I was impressed. Okay, then I got a million of these things because they were on sale. Okay, these Maybelline Eye Studio things, because literally, I put it up here so I would have it. This one, Legendary Lilac, I use this thing every single day. 
not really, but like, you know what I mean? I have two eyeshadows that I use every day, and it's for my lid color is what I'm talking about. And it's either Essence, the Grammy Goes Glammy, which is what I bought online, and then this. And I just like mix. I'll use the first one, sometimes the first and second, sometimes first, second, and third. Like, it just depends. But seriously, this is so pretty. If you have brown eyes, I literally hate my eyes because they're just like poop. But this makes them look so pretty. Like, the whole, like, purple goes with brown eyes. This made me realize that that makeup trick is true. So, basically, I got a new Legendary Lilac because I wanted a new one. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is Purple Icon. And I was like, let's try another purple one. So, this is Purple Icon. It looks kind of, like, silvery on camera, but I swear it's completely purple. Um, and then we have Copper Chic because it was just, it was just pretty. Give me gold, which is just, it's just pretty, okay. And then Coral Oasis, which is just pretty too, and I wanted it, so I got it. Okay, then we have, oh guys, okay. I got two of these new Tardis lip paints, and I put my old one in here to show you the comparison, because I saw these, and I was like, oh, Tarte came out with a new lip product, and then I looked at it, and I was like, lip paint, and I was like, my lip paint does not look like that. So... I think the packaging is like skinnier and longer and then the cap is like matte instead of glossy like this is the Tardis lip paint but then this is also the Tardis lip paint so th this is like the new packaging this one anyway so I got two of these this one is festival and guys I seriously swatched this on my hand when I went to Ulta like three days ago and I finally got it off yesterday, and now I'm about to swatch it again. Okay, anyway. <gasps> no! Okay, anyway. So this is Festival right there. Really nice mauve pink. Love it. And then this one, and isn't this packaging so cute? It's like splatter painted, like, ah! Oh. And this one is in Exposed. And this one is more of a, like, a nudie peachy. This is exposed. We'll just swatch it, okay. So, this one is exposed. This one right here. And that one is festival. So, exposed is more of a nudie. And then, um, festival is more of that mauve pink color. Big fan, big fan. Tardis lip paints are literally my favorite lip product ever. Now, to be honest, I'm not even going to lie. I seriously think that there is, like, a difference in these formulas. Because this one is a lot more liquidy and thin when you put it on. Like, just 100% period. I don't care what Tardis says if they change the formula. This one is so much more thin and liquidy when you put it on than the original lip paints. I don't know if it's just me. I still like them. But I don't know why, but I feel like I like the old ones better. Which is annoying, because you can't, like, go back. But, they're still my favorite lip products. Like, still, these are my favorite lip products ever. Tarte lip paints are literally my favorite things, because they just last all day, and no other lip products last for me like these do. So, I love them. Okay, now, guys, I have four products left, I swear. This is, I think these are new, it's the NYX Plush Gel Lipstick, and these aren't like matte or anything, they're just normal people lipsticks, and this is in Nude Beach, and it looks like this, this is how much product you get if you care, and my only complaint is these smell like that, like, makeup scent, like, you know when you were a little kid and stuff just smelled like makeup, like, that's what this smelled like, like the CoverGirl blushes when they were in the little, like, silver pans, like, that's what this smells like okay I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about but anyway that's it right there it's really nice I would just really like the color but it's not like a matte lip or anything but I just thought they were cool like a gel lipstick I don't know I was intrigued then I got a NYX HD studio photogenic concealer because I freaking love this stuff and I have the shade two and three and they're both just too dark so Honestly, though, two fits me, like, perfect, but it's, like, I should get the shade one for under my eyes, so. And those are both really old. I needed a new one anyway, so I found the shade one porcelain, because every time I go there, 
they're always out of like every color that's anywhere close to me so they finally had it I got it I really 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 like this concealer because it's just really good for every day like it's so light it's so nice it's just like super I don't freaking know it's just it's really nice covers everything I needed to cover and okay guys I'm almost done then I got a new Too Faced Better Than Sex I'm not opening this though because um I'm still finishing up my old one but this is the new one I got okay then last thing guys and I'm done this Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights and I don't know how I feel about this yet. I haven't used it. I swatched it in the store, so I feel like I had to buy it because it did have, like, this little plastic seal. And I opened it, so I feel like I had to buy it because I kind of felt bad. But anyway. I don't know. And I was just so obsessed with, like, the shape of it. Like, look how cool this is. And I, I fucked it up, so I was like, guys, I have to buy it. But anyway, I really like the, like, um... I don't know what you call that, but, like, the pattern they stamped on it or whatever the hell I don't know but I really like this because it's actually like it swatches nice you know what I mean usually baked products you have to like wet your brush and I know it's like oh if you wet your brush it looks so good but it's like I don't think I should have to do that you know what I mean if I have to wet my brush with something it's just like no it's not worth it it's not that good I'm gonna buy something that I don't have to do that extra step you know what I mean and this you don't it's literally like look at it guys oh my god like so oh my god Oh my god, I'm actually so glad I bought this. Okay, look at it, it's so pretty. And guys, NYX came out with these, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, what is that called? Holographic. Holographic things, and it was like, oh, uh, like I hate myself. There was like a pink, green, blue, purple, but it was one of those things, peach, orange, gold, yellow, like girl, everything. But it was one of those things where it was like, which one do I get? You know what I mean? Like I was like, I'm either going to get all of them, or none of them. And I already spent way too much money, so I was like, I'm not getting any of these today because I literally don't know which one to get. You know what I mean? Like, with highlighters, like, you pick the light shade if you're pale, you know what I mean? But there wasn't one color that it's like, oh, this one is going to look better than this one. It was just like, I want all of them or none of them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So, I didn't get any of those, but they were really cool if you're into the whole holographic makeup. NYX had, like, every single shade. It was so freaking cool. So, anyway... Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the Bath & Body Works with... Um... What was I saying? Essence Makeup. One more thing. Okay, I'm done now. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I love you so much. Okay, bye. And if you literally stayed through this whole half-hour video, like, girl, comment down below, because I would never listen to myself talk for 30 minutes if I didn't have to. I love you guys so much. Okay, I'm annoying. <laughs>